Seven yeas, no nays. The ordinance is passed. A unanimous vote by the New Orleans City Council leaves the crew of Nix without a parade. We um, tried to meet with JP, with the council, but nothing was ever come. This decision was brought on us very quickly, and there's nothing that we can do about it. The decision was made following several controversies surrounding the crew, the first of which began back in 2020 following a controversial tweet made by crew captain Julie Lee, causing a large number of its 3,500 members to leave. Then during the 2024 parade, Nick's members were caught tossing throws, asking women to join the crew, breaking the no advertising rule. The same year, the parade also did not have the required amount of marching bands for its parade. We have a plethora of ordinances and rules on the books that exist to ensure this relationship works. Rules regarding a minimum number of bands, limitations on advertising so that crews are not using their tax subsidized parades to seek to generate membership by throwing out QR codes, asking for money when spectators expect beads. However, Doug Sinceri, the attorney representing the crew, says Lee is being targeted by the city council. She has been a cheap political punching bag to make cheap political po points rather than seeing things as the way they are and giving the benefit of a doubt of someone who's given a lot to the city. But as for now, Nix remains without a parade, with a new crew soon to take their place on Wednesday night. As for the ladies who remain with Nix, their Mardi Gras futures remain unknown. We have built these friendships and these bonds with these ladies for many years. You know, we don't want to ever see that go away. You know, what we do from here is just something that we have to talk to our crew and figure out how to handle it and what to do.